This is Mr. Beck Does Your Homework. This is Physics, homework number six, questions number 10 and 11. This question says, a parachutist with a camera both descending at a speed of 12.2 meters per second. Hey, wait a second. So I've got a parachutist here. Here's my parachute. Um, and he's got a camera. So here's his camera. Uh, they're both descending down at 12.2 meters per second. Well, that's interesting. So what that can tell me is that my initial velocity is negative 12.2 meters per second. That's negative. Releases the camera at an altitude of 46.3 meters. So what I know is that this camera is going to fall down 46.3 meters. Well, if it falls down 46.3 meters, then its displacement is going to be negative 46.3 meters. What is the magnitude of the velocity of the camera just before it hits the ground? So I'm looking for a final velocity, but I want the magnitude, so I'm going to enter in positive whatever this is, even if it's a negative value. The acceleration of gravity is 9.8, so gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, and I'm looking for my final velocity. Well, I do have an equation that relates my initial velocity, my final velocity, my acceleration, and my displacement. It tells me that v squared equals v0 squared, plus twice my gravity times my displacement. So final velocity squared is my initial velocity squared of negative 12.2 squared plus twice my gravity, which is negative 9.8, and my displacement, which is negative 46.3. Now you can see this negative squared will give me a positive, this is positive, and these two negatives will give me a positive. So whatever this is plus whatever this is is going to be an even bigger number. So my velocity is going to be the square root of all of that. Now when I get that square root, um, I know that a square root can either be a positive or negative, and it would really make sense that this velocity was negative because this object is going down. So my true answer for the velocity is going to be negative, but when I enter it into U Texas, it's asking for the magnitude, so I'm going to leave it as a positive. But really it should be negative because it's going to have a velocity down. The next question says, how long does it take the camera to reach the ground? So now I'm looking for the time it takes. Um, here I'm going to have to recognize that this velocity is negative because now I've got an initial velocity, a displacement, a gravity, a final velocity, and I'm looking for time. So I can use any of a number of equations here to get my time. What I might want is that my final velocity is my initial velocity plus my acceleration times time. Now if I entered my final velocity as a positive, I'm going to wind up with some weird value for time. So what I'm going to wind up with is a final velocity which is a negative value is my initial velocity, which is negative 12.2, plus my negative 9.8 times a positive amount of time. So this is negative, this is negative, uh, so this is all going to be more negative, and I'll get a final velocity that's a pretty big value. So there's my final velocity. Um, oh no, sorry, I've got my final velocity. I'm going to solve for time here. So I'm going to add 12.2, divide by negative 9.8, um, and then that'll turn this into, into something where time is going to be positive. Uh, so make sure that my time is going to be a positive number there.